right now we have a lot of stuff that's going on and in this recession there's going to be a massive amount of opportunities for people who can look analyze and look at the data and come up with a game plan and this is something that just many people are incapable of doing i want to talk about why if you are smart and prepared why this recession is going to be an amazing opportunity for you and if you're dumb you're going to miss out welcome to this edition of hustlers kung fu brought to you by hustlers kung fu like university life skills.com where we teach you how to manage your money how to start a business how to think how to handle child support and a whole lot more be sure to go to hustlers kung fu life skills dot com to learn more and our best deals are below this video all right so here's one of the issues because there are many people who are functionally dumb they don't believe in anything they don't believe in science they don't believe in websites they don't believe in doctors they are dumb and i'm going to tell you as a person who believes in science like there are many people who are saying that this pandemic that we have is just the cold, it's just the flu. Well, here's some news for you. In September, we begin flu season. And from September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, seven months, it, the flu has killed 18,000 people. In a matter of weeks, this virus has killed 18,000 people. So the virus is definitely more deadly because the flu is literally everywhere but the virus is only in a handful of states. And what's gonna happen is this thing is gonna move from state to state depending upon population. The states with the largest populations are gonna have the largest rates of infection. Now, this is a scientific model that is easy to understand, but many people are caught up into superstition. Like there's this thing that's going on that the, the virus is caused by 5G cell towers and people are going around and they're taking out cell towers. Now, this is your competition. These are the people you're competing against. These are the people who are gonna be sitting in church tomorrow, which is Easter, or I should say today, because they'll probably upload on Easter. They're gonna be sitting in church and they're going to ignore, because I'm like covered in the blood of Jesus, and they're gonna do what they're gonna do. And this is one of the things. There are many people who are unfamiliar with the scientific method, unfamiliar with research, unfamiliar with data collection, and knowing how to go to five different websites and groom the topic and come up with a pretty good analysis. The International Monetary Fund, uh, a lot of well thought of analysts are all are saying, we're going to go into a depression. Yet there are many YouTubers are saying, well, the government's doing the stimulus package to prevent a recession we are currently in a recession unemployment is pretty much 20 percent right now because you know as you saw my other video the, yesterday the unemployment the department of labor websites cannot handle all of the people there is a limit now the limit doesn't mean that's the only people who are unemployed there are way more people unemployed that can't get through the websites because they're so busy. So we, we, you know, the whole thing about being smart, it's one thing to be smart. It's another thing to apply your smarts. And if you are going to apply your smarts, you can get rich in this recession because you're going to have to leave the superstition. You're going to have to leave the wise tales. You're going to have to leave the conspiracy theories. And more importantly, you're going to have to leave your hate of people who are doing better than you. Right now, there's a number of YouTubers who are going after bigger and more successful YouTubers to build their channel. And this is a tactic that works because most people are poor. Most people like to see someone who has had stunning success come down a few notches. And this is a sign of low class intellect. If you see someone who's doing better than you and your first option your first reaction is hate jealousy you are a low class intellect person because one of the things that happens when you experience success 
You like seeing other people be successful. You enjoy other folks a winning story. You are like, that's a beautiful thing. Because part of having the smarts to weather this recession and look at the data is you're not wedded to a agenda. The GOP is an agenda, the Democrats in the agenda, and you have many folks who are wedded to these agendas regardless of anything that's happened. Because I guarantee you what's about to happen. Next week, the state of Texas is going to reopen. The state that wasn't really closed, but it was closed, but it's going to reopen. It's kind of funny. How can you reopen if you were never closed? But anywho, they're going to open and their infection rate's going to skyrocket. Now, they're going upon Donald Trump intellect, Rush Limbaugh intellect, these people who say these things because here's one of the things about your competition, and these are the dumb people of America. Until they dip their finger in a pan of water, they don't realize it's wet. These are people who actually have to bump their head to learn the lesson. They cannot learn from other people. They cannot learn from observing other people there because they, they they have these mental blocks tribalism the the agenda there, there are so many things that go on with these people that this is your competition and you know i'm here to tell you it's going to be easy because when i wrote my first book and i was competing with other folks in the storage auction space it was so easy to beat these idiots because number one they didn't understand the market. Number two, they reacted to the market very late. So if you're smart, you're gonna be able to outmaneuver, outdo these people who don't believe in data. This, this is one of the things that, you know, cause I'm a scientific person. I used to work in a lab. I believe in the scientific theory. I believe in doctors, I believe in data. And this has served me really well. Most of these idiots don't believe in data. They don't believe in the scientists. They don't believe in doctors. They don't believe in vaccinations. Right now, there's this conspiracy that Bill Gates, who's like the fifth wealthiest person in the world, is now creating these vaccines and is going to profit off of it. Bill Gates already had money that was ridiculously long way before all of this. But he's doing this so he can make some more money. What about this is something else, too, that once if you're a smart person that's going to experience success, you're going to get to a certain point where you're going to look out for your fellow man. You're going to have an appreciation. You're going to have really lofty views. And also going to my conversation about ethics and morality. If you are a poor person, more than likely, you're not going to have ethics and morality because these things don't serve you well since you're living in a personal hell. You are doing what you need to do. You, you're looking to get over on anyone. If pushing grandma off the subway platform gets you a hundred bucks, grandma got to go, that type of stuff. That's low intellect thinking. That's low intellect reactions. You know, I'm going to be a little, a lot of people are not going to like this video because I'm going to probably be talking about some folks and they don't want to hear me talking about them because if you are a person that actually looked at the economic data because every time someone wants to challenge me my simple question is what economic data are you looking at and they don't point out any data they tell me how they feel and this is another sign that you're dealing with an idiot they're caught up in their feelings they're caught up in how they feel because one guy was like i don't think i feel that you don't have the economic data and one of the things that you could say about me and you could talk about me but I've been looking at economic data real hard for the last two years, and I warned you guys and told you guys that a recession was coming. I didn't figure on this virus thing, but I knew a recession was coming based upon the economic indicators because I was looking and analyzing and grooming the data. And a lot of folks, and the same thing with Bitcoin. I made massive prediction after prediction with Bitcoin because I was looking at the data. I wasn't caught up in my feelings. And with that, I think if you're an average person with a car payment, credit cards, student loans, and other stupid debt, um, you shouldn't be investing in Bitcoin because whatever gains you can get from Bitcoin are offset by all of the losses you're taking for having this debt. And this is another inf uh, interesting conversation on the internet. There are many people that feel that you should invest 
while you have debt. There are many people that feel that if you have a mortgage, because the mortgage interest rate is so low that you can get better gains of investing over here. This is an unsophisticated person because everyone that I know that I know to be that I know to be rich and sophisticated, they don't have any debt, none. They don't have a car payment. They don't have a mortgage. They have none because they pay cash. Because here's the thing: Dave Ramsey did this survey of all the millionaires and the that they've done that they've come to know and all of them have paid their house off within 10 years the the whole it's a, it's a simple math but many people being an investor sounds so smart i'm an investor i have mutual funds i have stocks I, i'm an investor that sounds very smart that sounds very now that sounds very hip but if you dive into the math if this person had a house that was paid off cars that was paid off and they were investing they would get way more gains because they wouldn't have these offsets by debt you know the interest rates on the credit card mortgage debt and this this is one of the craziest things that you will go through because when you're dealing with stupid people the feeling and the look of being a certain kind of successful person is more important than the reality and the practicality of moving ahead and one of the things you're going to be able to do, you're going to be able to move ahead. You're going to be able to make moves. You're going to be able to identify new trends by looking at the data. One of the things like with this YouTube channel, you know, because I'm in a $15,000 a year YouTube mastermind group and things I'm learning in that YouTube is helping me with my new channels and it's helping me with this old channel. Data, 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 data. And idiots don't look at data. Idiots look at superstition. Idiots look at Fox News. And yes, I'm going to be saying a whole bunch about the GOP because Texas has a GOP governor, uh, Georgia. We potentially will become an epicenter for this thing because we have another idiot who's the head of the state that's going on an agenda versus the data versus the wishes. Because I, I really feel that in four weeks that they're going to start opening up the country regardless of the infection rates because it's a hard decision because you know i don't know what i would do if i was in that situation because if we go ahead and open up the country we're going to have more people die but if we don't open up the country we're going to have an economy that's going to collapse which will also lead to people dying so it's bad either way you go and it's a very very hard decision one of the things that i would espouse to do because using intellect using modeling using dialing because this is something else too that idiots are saying well they predicted two million people are gonna die but now but oh, they ain't die these folks instead of being happy that these folks didn't die they're like well the data was wrong modeling is hard because here's another thing you should know we cannot trust china to give us the truth and China's the first place this thing went off. So we got to go off of the economic, uh, of the data that's coming from Italy. And also we've got the infection in New York from Europe. And the infection in New York is a very vicious strand because there's multiple strands of this thing. What's in New York isn't what happened over in Seattle and California. It's a different strand. and. This is because you, when you research and you actually believe something, because when you're dealing with dummies, they don't believe nothing. If they can't feel it, if Big Mama didn't recommend it, if Rush didn't say it, if Trump didn't approve it, it don't matter. And from a competition standpoint, it's going to be easy to outmaneuver these people and make a lot of money because they don't believe data. Uh, one of the things that, you know, someone was telling me that, like, you know, South Carolina is prepared for this situation. I have a friend who's a doctor and we talked on the phone a few weeks ago and he said they were already being overwhelmed a few weeks ago. And this thing hadn't even got rolling. So I could believe someone out here on the Internet who has a feeling, who has a GOP uh, agenda or I can believe my friend who's a doctor who's in the who's who's in the front lines right now. And th this is one of the things that people believe in mythology and superstition more than they believe in facts.
going back to this 5G thing, because there are many people putting the comments, hey, you need to look at this 5G thing. You need to look. I don't believe this thing came from 5G. Now, I will say one conspiracy theory that may be true, that this is a man-made virus that got out the lab. I'm willing to give that some credence because I used to be in the military and there's this place called Fort Detrick, Maryland, where there's a lot of stuff, nasty stuff that's created. And that could be plausible because this is how things happen in the world. We've got people making some nasty, crazy stuff and they're in a, and it gets out in the wild. And then you have this epidemic when you're dealing with the people who are dumb, the people like someone put on to my Facebook page that the reason all of this is going down is to make Trump look bad. So literally all these people around the world are dying to make Trump look bad. This is the, the stuff you're dealing with when you're dealing with these idiots. And if you're smart, you're going to be able, because the information's out there. The information on how to win. It's on the internet. It's in little cracks. It's in little places. It's in paid groups. It's out there for you to be able to win. But you've got to be able to understand and interpret the data. And that is something that I see that many people don't do. And many people don't care to do it. And also, many people have jealousy of doctors, researchers. They call them pointy heads using $5 words because these people have leveled up in life and there's some jealousy and resentment from people who have not leveled up in life. And this is why people of a certain intellect, people of a certain class hang around each other because they don't have anything in common with these other people. For those of you who are able, because this is how I did it. I remember when I came on YouTube and I started with my blog, I did a lot of research. I understood there was a lot I didn't know and I understood there was a lot I had to learn. That simple mindset of there's a lot I don't know, but there's a lot that I need to know left me wide open to experience what I needed. There's some people out there who are sitting at home who are hearing me and they don't like me because I'm more successful than they are. They don't like me because I make more money. And that's the basis for the hate and that's the basis for the responses they leave on the channel. They do no research. They don't check my resume. It's like, well, I feel, you feel? Give me some facts. What data are you looking at? And anyone that wants to come duel with me about the economy, come on, but bring some research. Don't bring your feelings, bring some research because I guarantee you this thing that is going on is going to go on longer and harder than most people want it to be. And that's another thing. Many people are into this fake positivity moment. I know there's bad stuff out there, but let's look at the good stuff and ignore all of this carnage. Because in my video talking about unemployment, unemployment can literally be 20, 22% right now. And many people don't want to look at that especially folks in the stock market. They don't want to look at it because it's like the more damning the news is, the more it goes up. But then the Fed is buying equity. So that's another thing that's propping up the stock market because true economic fundamentals are not coming into play. But at some point they will. And this is when the stock market is going to crash because I studied the Great Depression and this similar type of stuff happened when the stock market was pumping, it was pumping. Then it all came in and started dropping. So if you're a person who can interpret data, look at data and not rely on conspiracy theories or stuff from a democratic or GOP agenda and the GOP agenda, I mean, it, it is so pervasive because right now there are many people who feel that all this is going on to hurt Trump. Children are dying. There's another fake thing that is only elderly people or people with underlying conditions. I put on my Facebook page of a healthy guy who was a nurse, uh, a physician's assistant, who, who was known, who was very healthy, who had no underlying conditions, and he was in the ICU fighting for his life. You got people out here who are putting out this stuff. It's because they're, they're on a the GOP agenda. They're not on a fact, truth agenda because truth and facts don't care who tell them they really don't and you, you're getting so much misinformation out here 
You're getting misinformation from these YouTubers about, well, this is to keep us from sliding in recession. Every time I hear from some of those guys say that, I just want to throw a rock at the computer screen because we're in a recession right now. And it's going to turn into a depression. And many people just don't want to hear that because they live in their own realities, which is another thing that you're going to be able to do. If you're a person who can look at the truth, because when I was in that boarding house, the truth of the matter is I didn't have the skills. I did not save money. I made some bad decisions. And that's what landed me in that boarding house. And there are many people who cannot be personally accountable for their misfortune. It's the government. It's these rich people. It's one percent. It's all these people who are trying to keep me down, man. Forget the fact that I, I didn't go to school. Forget the fact that I don't know how to research. Forget, uh, that don't have nothing to do with it. It's all these other folks who are keeping me down. The man is keeping me down, man. The lack of personal accountability is stunning and staggering in this country. And during this thing, now I will say many of these people who just got laid off in their fault. It wasn't a matter of job performance. It was literally another thing that factored into it. And one of the few times that something else contribute to you losing out. So that this is a rare, rare event. But for those of you who like when I came to YouTube, I was a research fiend because this is one of the biggest issues with America. We don't have intellectual rigor like we used to. In the 60s, it was a thing. It was something for a young man to study a subject and to know it inside and out and go deep. That's just gone because people right now are looking for instant gratification. They're not trying to build anything. They're not trying to put anything together. And they, they're wondering why their lives are dumpster fires. They're absolutely dumpster fires because they, because here's how it goes. The life that you live today is a product of decisions that you made months or in many cases years ago. That's why your life is the way it is today. And many people cannot co comprehend that. They don't want to understand that. They don't want to face those facts. But when you become introspective and know that your life is a certain way because of decisions that you made and you claim ownership, you have the power to change your life. You have the power to make things better. You have the power to make things grow and the power to live a certain life. You have that power if you're willing to take personal responsibility and accountability and stop believing in all of these wives tales and conspiracy theories. Because I'm telling you, there's a great uh, part of the American population that's just dumb. The average IQ in America is 98 in all the Asian companies that countries is much higher. And this will explain why you see what you see. And this would explain why we're going to have the most massive infection rate of this thing. It's going to be a lot of people and it's going to be sad and it's going to be deplorable and it's going to be disgusting because it didn't have to happen. But human behavior is going to shine. And another thing that's going to hit a lot of women are about to start suffering because many women have not had to deal with the repercussions of their bad decisions because some simp man came in and saved them. Well, that's about to go away. A lot of women don't have to start confronting reality. Right now, there's a lot of women who are lonely because they don't have their mimosas, they don't have their girlfriends, they don't have their little circles, they can't do all these distractionary measures, and they have to sit and be alone. And that is really hard for a woman because when women go to prison they start to form families that's just the nature of a woman and many women are going to, to look at their ch their choices during this thing and they're going to look at it and a lot of women are going to alter course afterwards because it's one thing to be alone for a day or two it's a whole nother thing to be alone for months it's a whole nother ball game and this is one of the things that's going to create a new collective awakening in America because typically change comes from pain. Many people, as long as they're not in pain, they're not going to change. This thing's going to be painful. It's going to be very, very painful. And this is going to produce a lot of change. I predict that manufacturing is coming back to America. I predict a lot of stuff's coming back to America. And I think morals, ethics, because I'm going to do a whole 
show on morals and ethics because there are many people who've been pushing back on it. It's like, it's bad to have morals. And when you leave a comment like that, that tells me a lot about you. And I can predict with a great deal of accuracy what your income level is because the richer, you know, the richer people that I meet, they're not, they're typically very nice. They have manners. They have, they're quality people. Now there's a few assholes in the mix because every person who gets rich isn't going to be a nice, manable person. But the majority of the people that I've met who have attained the level of being rich or wealthy, they're quality people. They have a different level of breathing. They have a different way of responding to people. And it's so distinctly different from the responses you get from lower class people. It's amazing. So if you want to win during this recession, be smart, look at the data, make moves off the data, and you are going to be in a whole different lifestyle when this thing's over. So there's another video around here. You should watch it. You should, it should be right there, right there.